Hey guys, so today I'm going to review this book, Crash Override, How Gamergate Nearly Destroyed My Life and How We Can Win the Fight Against Online Hate by Zoe Quinn. Um, this book um, is about online abuse and the incident of online abuse, Gamergate, which was a famous incident. And this author was what the first uh, initial target of that that incident and she has written the first half of the book is about the story of what happened to her as someone who is facing a lot of online abuse and the second half is about how we can fight back against online abuse and it really emphasizes that this can happen to anyone, no matter what your politics are or whether you put yourself online out there as opinionated. You can become a target of the online mob. So it really has a universal message for everybody. The this uh, it look it sort of looks like a memoir that's about the author Zoe Quinn but it's really not there's only really one chapter about her life and biography and it's actually quite interesting because she was a high school graduate never went to college became a uh, uh, was married very young and actually did live uh, in her car with her husband for some time and uh, became a games developer which usually requires a college degree, but she became a games developer at age 24 uh, from being selected in a conference. So it just goes to show uh, there are a lot of things in life that you can do even if you don't expect it. And she developed this game called Depression Quest, which uh, was, was sort of up my alley because I have suffered from depression for pretty much my whole adult life. And the description of the game, which was that, oh, you're a person suffering from depression and uh, the game presents you options of what you want to do uh, in various scenarios, A, B, C, and D. But like the one that the best option is always crossed out and you're left with what people who are depressed would do. That uh, actually struck me as being very true and accurate to my experience and um I went and looked up the game. It's a browser-based game. It's free. You can get it going in about five minutes. And um, it really is pretty accurate, uh, in my opinion, I mean, um, about what it's like to live with, live with depression. But anyway, so the book. Um, so the story of Gamergate, uh, really, it, the book doesn't really go that much into all the details, but... Um, she does acknowledge that she's not a perfect person, okay? Um, this is not a, a battle of good versus evil, necessarily. The enemy is not... Uh, there is a people or a person, uh, even people who seem to be that they're, they're doing bad things and maybe bad people, but the real enemy are behaviors and lack of empathy. Um, so that was something that was emphasized in the book, and I like that. I like that, you know? She admitted that she's not perfect and she's done bad things too uh, because we're all human. We've all done bad things. None of us is a perfect little angel. Um, it's not like the movies where there's the good guys and the bad guys. I mean, it kind of is sometimes, but it's never entirely like that. And, uh, you know, I sort of uh, liked that admission, that uh, acknowledgement in the book. Uh, I, I thought it was uh, rather refreshing. So the second half of the book um, talks about how they try to address online harassment. Now, if you don't sort of know what online abuse or online harassment is, I mean, just think of it like a virtual mob uh, of people coming to denounce you and, and call you names, and, and they're convinced that they're doing the right thing. Um, it can be over anything, uh, really. Um, and, you know, they may find out information about your life. They may dox you, which means they find out your offline information and your family members and friends, and maybe they try to uh, threaten you or um, uh, you know, just 
do, make make things uncomfortable for yourself and people that you know. Um, so and 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 second half of the book. So that's that, that's what online abuse is. And then uh, how how to fight back of it. Well, uh, the second they, they they she talks about how you're reporting it to companies and institutions and and the police. Don't, doesn't really help all the time. I mean, it can be an option and it can be effective some of the time, but companies, tech companies are out to expand their user base. So they don't want to deal with this stuff when they might have to ban somebody or censor someone. It doesn't make money for them. Um, and then the police are often, they don't know, they don't take it seriously, um, or they just don't care. Um, and, or, or reporting something to the police may make it worse because there's all these all this documentation and all these and it's a long process and it may and you may have to spend money on a lawyer and, you know a lot of people don't want to do this stuff that's perfectly understandable right so what does work as a response to online abuse first of all recognize that the people doing the abusing it are people just like you and me. And in fact, uh, in the book, uh, Zoe Quinn said that she was an online abuser at one time in her life when she was a teenager um, because she thought it was cool. So um, that is, um, you know, that we all have it in us. And because the internet, you know, you don't really see the humanity in the other person, right? It's just, we're all just pixels on a screen. You know, we're not a presence. There's a difference, even when you're watching a video, there's a difference between looking at someone through a screen and actually being in front of them. And you see that they're a living and breathing human being. Um, I think we all feel it. We all feel that difference, right? assuming that we do get out of our rooms and basements from time to time right um, and uh, so they, they so it's easy to dehumanize someone and it's important that we not dehumanize people when we're online and sort of recognize the effect that the filter of this electronic medium has on us um, and everyone thinks they're the good guys but um, so it's important to recognize that uh, we have to be careful about what we do in terms of making snap judgments or spreading stories because you don't really know a lot of the time online whether what you're reading is real or fake and you sort of have to be a skeptic um, not necessarily jump on every bandwagon uh, one example is the Boston bomber it was, they originally said it was a guy named Sunil Tripathi who had committed suicide around the same time, and it totally wasn't him. And now, and then his family has to deal with uh, not only did, did their son commit suicide, but that he's being named as the Boston bomber when he wasn't. So, um, the other things that you can do is sort of practice digital hygiene, keep your password secure, don't have the same password for every everything and, and to be honest um, you know a lot of this stuff is uh, people don't do because they don't think that they're going to be targeted um, but uh, actually that part of the book I didn't really it was a little boring I'm, it's it's sort of the thing that you would read in a manual or something like that um, but it, it is important. It is important if you are being targeted um, or if you think you might be targeted. Okay, and then what other things can we do? There's a lot of wisdom in this book. Um, you really have to. I do recommend reading it uh, because in, in the brief review, I can't really go over anything. But um, uh, when someone is being abused online, if you see someone else being abused online, um, you, sh you have to sort of the first rule is not to do any harm right because sometimes the, the jumping in to defend someone or reporting something uh, may do more may actually bring on more abuse to the victim so reach out to the victim in a way that um, doesn't add more burden to them 
and, and doesn't make presumptions about uh, how they want to respond or where they are and sort of make sure and see whether if you are want to do something to support them make sure that you get their consent first and so that was I think that is smart because the people all have diff are in different we're all in different situations we all deal with uh, we all could deal with online abuse in different ways and have different preferences about how we want to handle it. Um, so we have to center the victim's needs, and then we have to build a positive community around uh, supporting each other, um, supporting people who might be the targets of abuse, and um, supporting ourselves. Uh, so, and so, so this lady faced a lot of abuse online, and uh, one of the things that sort of kept coming out. Uh, again and again. Uh, well, one of the things that she says that um, you know, because I'm white and I'm uh, have a big platform, uh, then I can write this book. But uh, it's really the main targets of abuse are more marginalized groups, uh, black women, um, other people of color, uh, trans people, trans women of color. Um, those are the main targets. And actually, these Gamergate people have been going after those groups. Uh, for much longer, especially the trans people. Um, and so, but uh, one of the sort of the things in this book is that uh, you have to sort of keep your personality. You can't let the abuse sort of take over. You still have to be yourself in the end, right? So, so okay, overall, uh, pretty good. Um, you know, these, at the end of the day, it comes down to uh, people's, um, you know, just how we want to be towards each other and whether we want to be pro-social or anti-social. Uh, a lot of people enjoy being anti-social, and I sort of see that, um, but I, I think it's, it's gotten a little extreme recently. Um, I really think that we should have more empathy for one another and uh, treat each other ni more nice on the internet, nicer, um, and sort of, sort of try to build a culture around that. And uh, this is really the first generation that's online, uh, and uh, I just, I don't know, but maybe in future generations people will sort of Get, get more smart about how they use the internet. Uh, and there'll be less bullying, there'll be less abuse, there'll be less harassment. But uh, in the meantime, check out this book.